What's up, my fellow traders? Hope you all having an awesome weekend. So, a weekend update where I'm gonna give you something educational to learn so that you don't rely on signal services, so that you can take your own trading decisions without relying on anyone else. Because in trading, rules are very important. If you're not trading with the rules, then trust me, you're gonna blow up your account very soon. So, before I continue, the two announcements I have. Number one, I'm gonna start my new service next month where I'll be starting my live sessions twice a week just for members where you can ask me questions where we can discuss in depth about the reports I sent to the members or if you have any trading related questions, what to expect throughout the week, what I'm personally look at for my own trading, major zones, minor zones, day trading, scalping and everything we're gonna look at the live session so if you have any confusions or any trading related questions or if you want to learn more in that group you will get tons of knowledge the second thing now you can trade with ic markets you can connect ic markets and you can also start trading on this platform now i get this question asked a lot omar if i have an entry condition on oanda as i personally do analysis on oanda and some of you are not with Oanda. In that case, you are confused how you're going to enter your trades. Now, I'm going to give you a very small example because I have an account with Oanda and with IC Markets as well. The way you can take your trades with your own broker. Now, let's say you have an entry condition which we had last week right here on gold. So, we had an entry condition right here on gold. Now, with the exact entry condition, even though we did not have an entry condition on my platform, let's say on IC Market right here and we have gold right here i do not have any zones here i have nothing here but i've seen my condition on oanda but i've entered my trade right here and i've exit my trade once it hit my take profit on oanda i have manually exit my trade but i do trade on oanda if i want to trade natural gas and other commodities because they're very good with the spread i'm not partner with them but the reason i do my analysis on oanda because i've tested all my strategies on oanda data and we don't have many imbalance of the candles on that platform something like this if you see the candle opened a little bit above the previous candle that is what we don't see in oanda so if you want to use oanda just for your analysis you can do that and take your trades on your own platform but if you join ic market with my link in the description then you can get free access to my priority group as long as you are active with ic market and you will receive all the reports reports for forex commodities indices and traders, of course, one to four times a week so that you will learn how I enter my trade, what I look once when I take my personal trade. So a good group if you want to get a good education. So once you join, email me at support at the weight of money and I'll add you right away with a minimum deposit requirement as well. Thirdly, Rafael has also opened his own YouTube channel. As most of you have seen his videos on my channel as well, he has launched his own service. And if you like his style of trading, then I'll put his link in the description. And if you like his analysis, you can subscribe to his channel if you want to learn more. So in the first part of the video, very important things we're going to discuss. Number one, especially for natural gas, we're going to do a very detailed breakout how you can see when the price starts a new trend and when you can expect a bounce and how you know that is if the zone is going to be broken and how you can manage your trades when the price is in a downtrend how to identify that the price is now going to start a new trend and what to expect next that is going to reflect on today's analysis of natural gas so very important if you watch that part of the video without skipping it so that it will make complete sense when i go to the commodities analysis and it will also help you to learn the price action if you are trading any other particular instrument so starting with the results of 2024 so far so right here we are up 21 percent so far i know how it goes for the rest of the year but last week was 174 percent gains we had for the whole year just with the priority trade alerts i sent to the members excluding the trades i personally take with the other strategies i teach to my students and excluding the other commodities like gold silver and the zones i send to the members so just with these trade alerts i sent within this month so far the winning percentage is 77 percent and the gains as you can see is 21 percent and this is something i send to my members one to four times a week and this is something you get in the priority group not a signal group but this is something you learn with the exact rule and that that is what i'm going to show you in the first part of the video how we took this trade the recent trade for the last week is right here and week before that is right here so how we enter this trade what i look at the reasons we enter the trade i'm going to show you all that in the first part of the video and with that how the zones reacted nicely from the last week zones 
report with the commodities and forex both so, so let's start with the commodity first and then we're going to go through forex and then we're going to do one by one commodity and forex so that you don't get a board as well so starting with palladium now this is the zone i've been sending the members from last couple of weeks and as you can see this week the price finally hit the area of value and i want to show you the area of value right here so at that time the price was inside the zone i've already mentioned my members the price is currently inside the level of structure support and now we are looking for a possible buy condition so what do we have right here we had a price hit my zone we had one bottom we had a second bottom we have a third bottom with the red candle now if you are my student you know this type of entry when we are taking a double bottom with an aggressive entry now i don't do this normally i don't market my courses anywhere i don't advertise them because i believe if someone wants to learn something it will come to you you don't need to convince someone to become successful if you want to become successful you need to have that hunger you need to have that passion you need to look for the things a possibilities that will take you to the path of success and that is why right here we have a premium plan one-time investment if you are eager to learn everything from the basics with from the to the advanced level this is something you need to get and with that you have a standard plan free for the whole year a one-time investment and you will not regret it i get lots of questions that oh my wire is not a valid entry when we see valid bullish in golfer because i have a very little small details in trading that creates a signal and creating a signal is not easy because you're investing your hard-earned money so this is the course plan right here on money market feel free to check that out if you're interested if not that's totally cool make sure you subscribe so that you can get an educational videos like this now at this point we had a condition right here a triple top triple bottom pattern and that pushed the price higher a nice 1.421 take profit has been hit for commodities i prefer one to one first but then you can manage it till 1.421 that's just totally up to you then we have forex pair right here a report sent to my members right here which is 12th of this month now i've already informed my members and my students that we are now looking at this level for the possible pullback once we have a pullback we are only going to look for the entry condition now there are times when the price pull back and break below the zones which i want to show you what happens in that case so without a reason to enter we are not going to enter over to it so with that we had a pullback and this is one of my favorite pair as well and right here as you can see once we had all the condition meets we had a pullback on smaller time frame and we had a nice bullish engulfing pattern right here right here the trade alert was sent to the members as well as now we had all the conditions meet we had a, a price pull back to the zone we've been waiting for and then the price formed a valid condition right here and that is how we enter the trade with the rules and with the pullback as you can see how nicely the price pushed higher out of my zone and nice take profit of 1.421 has been hit here on this platform until where i've managed my trade and right here i've just shown you this trade nzd jpy that was sent to my members now this was the trade that has been taken from the zone so what happened if the price is trading in between the zones if the price is trading in between the zones all we are looking at a trending market and that is just a pullback entry bullish or bearish depends if the price is above 50 or 20 ema so we have what we have a price pushed up break above 50 ema and now what we are looking at pullback entry bullish right here a trade alert was sent to the members that we have now all the condition meets and one of the pullback entry we are now above 50 ema now all we are looking at a buy condition now if the price is trading above 50 ema it doesn't mean that we're going to start entering a buy trade blind we want to see a conditions like this and a trending market like this so we have a trending market we have a condition we entered here and a nice take profit of 34 pips has been it right here but that could be managed till this zone as well now if you're my students you know how to manage your trades already so a good example of a pullback entry in a trending market and in between the zones right here i want to show you one more example a very good example of a trade in a trending market bearish now i've just shown you a price a good example of trending market bullish price is now in between the zones what we are looking at we are now looking at a signal and what is my signal my signal will, will be a bearish engulfing pattern somewhere between 50 ema now if i play the market which is right here now what do we have we have now valid bearish engulfing pattern right here so a valid condition and as you can see we had a nice trending market with a pullback followed by bearish engulfer so what do we have after that we had a price push lower and oh no 
the price just hit my stop loss that is what i want to hit you with the reality because it doesn't matter if you follow your rules doesn't matter what happens if your all conditions are met this is something you can expect in your trading one of the trade that hit my stop loss but that did not hurt me because it will not stop me to enter the same exact trades if i see in the market because you keep on changing on your strategies again and again trust me you're going to go in circles again and again because in a long run you will come out as a profitable trader so then we have gold i've been sending this report to my members that keep the zones on the charts and once the price hit my zones and the area of value below in green in that case we're going to look for an entry conditions from the counter trading zone bullish on a smaller time frame what do we have right here finally the price hit my area of value right here and forms a nice swing low bullish engulfing pattern according to the reports we were prepared and we did not enter blindly imagine if you have no zones here you're not going to know how you're going to enter the trade because bullish engulfer itself doesn't mean the price is going to push higher you need to have in a conference like a zone like a bullish engulfer and overbought situation so combining all that it makes a strong signal and that is how we enter this trade with the rules sent to the priority members and also mentioned in my youtube videos if you have taken this trade then you have made some money right here so let's look at your usd one of the favorite pair out there right here we have a zone that was sent to the members right here on a daily time frame and we were looking for the entries on smaller time frame but as you can see on smaller time frame i don't normally trade aggressive entries on for one hour time frame but we had a nice bearish engulfer on one hour time frame and if you look back on a daily time frame we had a nice bearish engulfer but i was personally looking for an entries on four hour time frame it did push down from my zone right here around 100 pips but i was already in the trade which i've already shown you one example which is my pullback entry bearish on this red candle i was all in in this trade a pain in the ass trade i was about to hit my stop loss but then with the new candle it hit my take profit but also pushed down from my zones i was sent to the members and we were prepared to take this trade so that is how we need to have the rules in our trading without rules as i always say we are just gambling right here canada jpy i've already shown you one winning trade on new zealand japanese yen exactly the same condition price broken above a level of support level of resistance that has now turned support this was not an alert as sent to the members because like i said it is not a signal group but i want to show you the exact same condition so that you can take your own decisions looking at the same entry pattern as you can see we have exact same entry pattern pull back with a bullish engulfer and the price pushed up right here if you look here on new zealand japanese yen we had the same entry pattern the price pushed up that was sent to the members as well the bullish engulfer and the price hit your take profit and that is what i want you guys to learn not to rely on anyone and take your own trading decision and now if you have learned something out of the new zealand japanese yen trade you have also have a exact same condition here on canada japanese yen and that pushed the price higher then we have aud and zd a zone was sent to the members last week with the report and what do we have as you can see on the description that for this particular pair we had two levels to look at for the possible trades number one we had a level of support which is right here in green and i've already mentioned that the price at the level of major support and is a valid counter trading zone that is why i'll be looking to enter my buy trades on smaller time frame now at this point if you see i've already mentioned that we have we are already getting a push up with the condition on 4 hour time frame so that is how you learn and that is how you take your trades with the condition not entering your trades trades blindly because i've seen most of the traders struggling traders the newbies when the price hit the zone they start buying because you have no confirmation that is why you don't know what's going to happen next yes it is a likely chance that price will push up from the support demand zone or resistance supply zone but looking at the conditions overbought oversold support area bullish in golfer a buying pressure gives you a confirmation that yes now if you enter your trades you entered with the rules and then if your stop loss is hit that is fine because you are trading with the rules you are not going to go in circles and circles and keep on doing the same mistake but you know next time let's say if your stop loss is hit next time it is a likely chance that it will hit your take profit so that is how you take your trades with a valid bullish condition and now as you can see this trade is trading lower in a downtrend and as you can see we had these levels from where we can expect a possible bounce and then the price likely push down and continue to push down. in a trend that is what i'm going to talk about next for natural gas price action but for now with a valid bullish engulfer the price pushed up and then the price hit the zone resisting from here and let's see how it goes 
from here if broken above then this level will turn a possible level of trend continuation zone bullish so hope you got a value out of today's lesson hope you have learned something out of it make sure backtest your strategy if you have learned something if you are because with backtesting you have your confidence you see the draw on time you see the winning streak you see the losing streak especially that after few losing streak you know that there is a winning streak as well but the condition is you must follow your rules you must stick with your strategy most importantly stay under your risk capital so in this part of the video i'm going to show you how you can identify if the trend is going to be finished and how you can identify if the price wants to reverse in a new trend because i've seen the traders they enter their trades from the area of value and then they don't cut their profits they hope that price will reverse and in that hope they lose everything that could have been a winning trade or good profits now i want to show you how price action works when the price is in a downtrend or the, if the price is in an uptrend and how if you want to pull the profits maximum profits out, out of the market how you can manage your trades now first look at an example of natural gas in a downtrend now for commodities i try not to manage my trades more than 1.421 unless i see a good trend now here on natural gas we have a good trend normally on natural gas we see a trending market upwards or downwards not like a choppy market like crude oil or the other or some other commodities but here on natural gas as you can see the price started a new trend right from this level of resistance now at this point what i'm looking at i'm now looking at sell trades so we have a sell trade right here at this point we entered here now we are looking at this zone for the next buy trades now as the downtrend started from here a possible downtrend because now we are broken below 50 ema as well and now it means the price has a new trend as when the price is trading below 50 ema i consider is as a downtrend and opposite is true so at this point broken below 50 ema a possible downtrend has started now when the price starts a trend we have these zones from where we can capture some profits now this is the goal to take your profit not by being greedy and not by getting panic now at this point when you, when you see a downtrend from here we have a level of structure support right here so at this point what i'm going to do i'm going to enter my trade not blindly but i'm going to enter my trade with conditions now what we have we have a condition right here which is the bullish engulfing a pattern so i'll enter my trade now for the commodities i like one or two atr for my target if you want to manage it 1.4 to 1 can be your target but mainly the way i teach my students one atr it's your initial targets then manage it and manage it till two atr then it's totally up to you now looking at this downtrend i'm not gonna hold on with the trade because i know that it is likely chance that after this downtrend the price after this bounce the price will likely push low how i'm going to identify if the price is going to be pushing lower now after this bounce i want to see if the price pushes up above 50 ema with a good momentum now if that happens i'll start to look for my pullback entry bullish till a next level now as we did not get any reason we are broken above with one and two candles and then the next candle will start to push us lower means the price did not want to continue to push up in a trend instead it is a chance the price will now push lower now my eyes are here on this first low i want to see a break below this low if that happens it is a signal that price wants to push lower so what do we have we had a price push lower and break below the previous low now in that case we have no double bottoms we have no condition for buy trades but we had a price broken below so as you can see the, since the downtrend has started we took a bounce a chunk of profit as you can see the 2 atr target has been hit at the atr of this candle is 4 price pushed up 11 points 12 points more than 2 atr and now at this point the price did not want to continue to push up and broke below this low at this point i'm not interested for reversal or not interested to take another buy trade instead i will look for my selling opportunity what happens after that a new low a pullback a bearish engulfer so that is my sell condition now i got this question asked a lot what if the price is in the support area and form a bearish engulfer i still go for my sell trade we have a good example right here the price form a bearish engulfer at my area of value but 
I've already taken my profits right here. Now, if you say I wanted to manage this trade, yes, you could have gone up to 1.4 to 1, push your stop loss to break even. You would be out in break even with no risk of loss. But if you want to go 180 or 280, that is what I recommend. When we had a price broken below, I'm interested in taking my sell trade. So that is your entry right here. If you are my student, if you are my if you are my priority member, that is your valid entry. So now, what trend do you see from here? You see a nice downtrend after a bounce broken below we have a signal that price wants to push lower now at this point with this bearish engulfer at this point if you are now interested to manage your trades in that case you can manage it till the recent level of support now this is something i teach to my students how to manage your trades in the risk management chapter which i can't explain in a single videos so we are now in a downtrend it's totally up to you if you want to exit at the 280R target, if you want to go a little bit more, more than 280R, 1.4 to 1, or if you want to manage it till recent support right here, that is likely because here we had a Fibonacci level triggered as well. If you remember, we took this trade. According to that, the price pulled back up to 50% retracement, and we have a likely chance the price will push down to till at least 1.618 retracement. So that is how you know that in a trending market, it is no harm if you want to manage your trades till the next level of support because now we are trading below 50 EMA, 20 EMA, and a nice trend we already got a bounce and chunk of profit and now we are riding along with a new trend and this is how you manage your trade in a downtrend so now let me show you an example of an uptrend right here now before that if you understood the logic of the zones a bounce in a downtrend i want to show you one more example so that you have no confusions left so at this point television support we took our profit now what do we have after that another level of support right here so price hit the level of support and what trend are we in? We are in a downtrend. We have a bullish engulfing candle and that is how many ATR? If you hover over this candle, it's 4.2 ATR easily. So how easy it is? From this bullish engulfer, price pushed up 8 point, ATR is 4 and 2 ATR target has been hit easily from this area of value. And what happens after that? price did not break above 50 EMA but it forms a big bearish engulfing pattern this is not one of my sell signal in case you are wondering but we had a new low from here means the price now wants to push lower there is a likely chance all we are interested in sell opportunity so what do we have after that not here but on capital.com we had a condition as bearish engulfer let's say we had a bearish engulfer here in that case I would enter my sell trade here and I want to manage it till my recent level of support because we are in a downtrend. There is no harm if you want to manage it after 280R target has been hit and after moving your stop loss to break even and further push your stop loss to grab profits to the way down. So at this point, what happens? We had another bounce right here. Now at this point, what are we looking at? A new trend, right? We are now possibly looking at a new trend when? after this bounce if the price break above 50 ema with a good momentum and if you have a bullish candle in that case we are keep on taking logs now just if you forget i want to show you here after the price bounce from this area of value it's bro it broke above 50 ema we had no condition but then price crashed similar conditions we are looking at for the possible reversal and how the price actually signals you after this bounce from here price pushed up now we have one hurdle which is 50 ema right here then we have another hurdle which is this level of resistance from where we can get a likely push down which we had right here now after that as we had no condition here so we are not in the trade we had no buy condition because we are below and up 50 ema nothing here but after that the price pushed up and we had a breach of this zone a likely chance exactly opposite as i've shown you in the previous example so we had a breach of the zone we are now above 50 ema we are now above 20 ema that is a signal that the price is going to start a new trend now opposite exactly as i've shown you the bearish example what do we have after the break we are above 50 ema the price gave us a nice pullback followed by a nice bullish engulfing pattern so at this point as now we are above 50 ema as now we are above the zone if you now want to enter your trades let's say you entered at the pullback in that case there is no harm if you want to manage your trades to the next level of resistance which is right 
up there. Now, from the level of resistance, as now a new trend has started, we can likely get possible push down. That is what we are not gonna manage because now we are in an uptrend. We are not gonna manage over over sell trades, but we are gonna manage over buy trades if we have a condition from the area of value that is recently broken. But for the sell trade, exactly as bearish example, we are gonna go 280 ATR maximum, or we can go 1.421. So ATR of this candle is six. Price pushed lower. How many points? As you can see, with this bearish engulfing candle, the price pushed lower. 1.5 ATR, not completely 2 ATR, but 1 ATR target would have been hit with the 2 ATR is almost there. That would have been a break even or if you have taken your profits after 1.5 or 1 ATR, that would have hit your take profit or break even. But that is what we had a pullback out of this area of value from the sellers. But as now we are in an uptrend, we had a next candle as a bullish engulfing pattern right here above 50 EMA in an uptrend and what do we have after that the price pushes up from here and the ATR of this candle is what seven and from here the price pushed up easily more than two ATR but because in this trade I would have kept my stop loss below this area and that wouldn't have hit my stop loss and as you can see price broken above in a trend at this area of value and now we have a new trend till when till the price hit a next level of resistance right here and from where we can look for the exact same rule which i've already shown you so that is how you identify how the price action works in a trending market and how you can manage your trades and how you can enter your trades from this zones grab your profits and then ride along with a trend all with conditions and without condition you are just gambling i repeat it again and again because if you want to trade with the hardened money please don't risk that so i hope you got a value out of today's lesson and i and i hope you have learned out of this natural gas example and this is what you can implement in your trading but make sure test your strategies if you follow me test my strategies and if you have any questions you can always email me at support at moneymarkers.net so let's start our analysis with natural gas gold silver and crude oil starting with natural gas now as you have seen the first part of the video the second part of the video you know how you expect from the price action exactly same we are now in what we are now in a downtrend a bearish engulfer right the price is now riding down in a trend hit a next major level of structure support at this point some of you were confused that price has a bullish engulfing pattern it is not a one of my valid bullish aggressive entry i've already informed you guys on my telegram channel if you have not followed yet please follow my telegram channel if you want to receive important updates like this so this was not one of my valid entry. Like I said, I have very small and little details. I look for my entries before I enter my trade. But here on Oanda, I don't know if the price is going to start a new trend from here, but that is likely that price can start a new trend because it is a last support and a level of su major support from where the price pushed up dramatically on a weekly time frame as well. If you look here, it is a level from where the price pushed up massively, a weekly zone. That is why I'm now looking at this level for a possible bounce. Now we can still get a push down into this zone and then a big push up if you are not an aggressive trader. Now for aggressive entry, it is a valid bullish engulfing pattern and entry as well. A swing low bullish engulfing pattern. From here, I'm now expecting some bounce. So at this point, Again, I would still go one or two ATR or manage it till 1.4 to one risk to reward ratio, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna hang on with my trade. It is a chance that after a bounce, price will likely push down to the lower level and then price will bounce up again. So that is what I'm looking at for aggressive entry. If you're not an aggressive trader, wait for the price to either push up, come back, and I will mark my rejection box like this. Let the price reject from this rejection zone without a candle closing below this zone. If you remember the first part of the video, how you identify if the price is gonna push lower in the trend. So without a candle to close below, if you have a rejection, the wick can go below. And then if you have a bullish engulfer pin bar, in that case, you have a less aggressive entry and there is an extra confluence that price will now likely push higher after one rejection, a two rejection, oversold situation with a divergence. You have lots of confluence and confidence to take your buy trade if you know if you don't want to enter aggressively. But from here, aggressive traders, we can get a possible bounce, two ATR, one to two ATR, 
pounds and after that i will see the next condition if then broken above 50 ema only then i'll start to look for my bullish continuation trades a possible reversals from here so one condition i've already mentioned a double top pattern but let's say if the price pushes lower and form a pattern in between the zone or formed another bullish engulfer in between the zone that will be an entry as well if you have entered here and the price pushes lower of course it will hit your stop loss but if we have another entry inside the zone i will still go long from here as long as we are inside the zone and price forms a valid entry we have a buy signal if i want to show you a condition we had before from the same level as you can see the price hit this level then pushes up then falls and then falls to the lower level and then pushes up that is enough to hit your target here and here as well and then consolidate for the while and then break above 50 ema with a good momentum and then we had a start of a new trend after the price broke above a next level so that is what you can expect from here as well price has now hit the level of support we can expect a possible bounce for aggressive entry and price can likely push up till at least 50 ema from where we can get a possible sell signal again for a next sell trade if broken above we can look for next bullish pullback entries here on capital.com what do we have we have a kind of double bottom not a major one look at the price push lower hit the rejection box push up hit the rejection box right here and then pull back a few candles then hit a rejection box followed by bullish engulfing pattern that looks like a minor double bottom pattern so looking at that and as that is also a valid entry right here that can be a double bottom entry right here stop loss can be below take profit can be 1 or 2 atr and this totally up to you if you want to manage it till 50 ema or if you are not an aggressive trader wait for the price to push up come back to the rejection box and then a next bullish engulfer 3a to can green candle will be your entry condition so it's totally up to you how you want to enter the trade we are now in a major level we are now overbought in the rsi i'm now expecting a price to push up from this area of value now one more important thing i want to mention here now looking at this area of value if you let's say if i've entered here i want to keep my stop loss below this zone if you want to manage your trades because i want to give a room to the price to move inside my area of value now if your trade size is really big then you won't be able to survive this room of stop loss you might stop out earlier if your risk is so big that you won't be able to hold your position so that is why if you if you decide to keep your stop loss below make sure you trade according to your risk capital right here, exactly the same as capital.com we are now in the level of support right here which is 1.467 that goes to 1.597 here on kevlar.com this level is 1.573 that goes to 1.672 here on wanda is 1.476 that goes to 1.645 from where now we expecting a bounce again i'll keep my stop loss below if you want to enter in an aggressive way to give a price some room and look for a condition inside the zone as well for the less aggressive trader these are the conditions now i'll be looking at for natural gas trade on your own risk do not take my words on it this is just my opinion about the market let's do an analysis here on gold it's now pushing up nicely now as per my last analysis i've said that price will likely hit 50 ema we are still not broken completely above 50 ema so at this point let one more candle close above 50 ema with the momentum if that happens we can look for a pullback followed by a bullish engulfer and keep on taking longs till the price at the level of resistance right is so all i want to see a momentum above 50 ema for the possible pullback entry bullish only the next zone to take yourself to 2070.82 that goes to 2070.04 from where now we are looking to enter of a sell trade if the price pushes up with the momentum with bearish engulfers double top in what hammers 382 can bearish so wait for the price to break above completely wait with patience once we are broken above only then we can start to look for the pullback entry bullish silver has massively pushed up as mentioned now we are above this previous high now we can start to look for the pullback entry bullish so all i want to see a nice pullback of few red candles must be above 50 ema followed by bullish engulfing candle if that happens i'm going to go long till when till we are in the area of value which is right above in red it is 24.26 that goes up to 24 Point sixty six from where we're going to enter our counter sell trade with bearish and golfers double top inverted hammers three eight two candle bearish. So all I'm looking at bullish trades only. Looking at the fact price has broken above twenty EMA. We have a bullish pressure here at three eight two candle. That is also one of my entry condition. If you are my students, you know what entry I'm talking about. That might have hit your take profit as well. Lastly, we have crude oil. Crude oil is now pushed lower, but as you can see, we had a triple top and we had a little pullback from here. Now. 
as now we are above 50 ema as you can see the price is within this rejection box i'm still not looking for my buy trades now at this point if you look here we also have an head and shoulder pattern bullish so as you can see the price pushed down to my rejection box we had an entry condition now if you are my student in mmta course we had a head and shoulder pattern bullish with a bullish engulfer and that pushed up and that is enough to hit your initial targets and what is my second targets the second targets and second type of entry is a break above this rejection box and what is the, and when is then at this point if the price break above this yellow box right here in that case we will have an entry number 2 triggered this yellow box is 78 that goes up to 79.17 if the candle closes up break and close above close is very important with the momentum not a little candle i want to see a good bullish candle above this yellow box in that case we have an entry number 2 and then price will likely push up i'll keep my stop loss till the head below 50 ema and take profit wherever you want to take it 1.421 or you want to manage it as totally up to you so this is what i'm looking at if the price close above the rejection box in that case we have an entry number 2 and price will likely push up So wait for that. Wait for the conditions. Once we have the conditions, we are good to go for our trade. So that's it for commodities, guys. Hope you got a value out of today's analysis. I know that's a long video, but I hope that gives you right amount of knowledge. Subscribe if you're new, so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently. Hope you trade green rest of the week. See you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.